My response to that was something not meant to be seen. I felt that this was sort of mysterious and that it was really a cool thing. Away from home is a phrase I find interesting because it makes me wonder who is away from home and where they are. I made up Ava Fitzgerald and I just, I've heard that last name a lot and also that first name and I thought they sounded good together. A good name for a character that lives in Connecticut in 2014 is Emma Thomas and this is because Emma is one of the most popular names in 2014 and Thomas Hooker was the founder of Connecticut. The name I came up with was Abby. I think, I think that because well, Abby's more of a fun name, and I know about like 15 people with the name Abby. Was well, one internal obstacle that I think a character might have is that they might find out something that they never knew about. Is if his or her parents don't want her to do something that he or her likes a lot, but doesn't, but he or her doesn't want to disappoint his or her parents. An eternal obstacle a character might face could be you get in a fight with your friend, but part of you does want to make up with them, but the other part doesn't. I chose phosphorus. I think it sort of just rolls off the tongue. A word that sounds musical to me is yellow. I chose this word because it was my first word. The word that's special to me is wordsmith. It represents who I am and what I like to do. The word that I wrote was pomplamousse. This word in French means grapefruit. The reason I said this is because it has a unique beat when you say it. A word that sounds pleasing to the ear, symbolic. Summer has come at last, and like a scorned lover who yet yearns for her betrayer, she scorches and soaks the earth in turns. The air was wet and heavy, but also hot, as if a small piece of equatorial rainforest air had descended upon the area. The weather today to me was blazing hot, the sun beating down on the grass, making it glisten, the sun hitting our skin, making us sweat profusely, the area around it heated. Today is Wednesday. The weather for today is cloudy with a chance of precipitation. It is 90 degrees outside, with the humidity being 20%. Be prepared for showers in the early afternoon. But as my heart thudded, I, all of a sudden, felt that I had made a terrible mistake. Quite all considering what had happened. Soon, one by one, each thing I saw became black. For now. One time long ago, my friend and I were at the park and saw horses. I reached out to pet one and it bit me. My friend laughed at me while I cried. Now whenever I see a horse, I always run away as far away from, as far away from it as possible. The deep, dark secret kept since ancient times from the world. They are secret royalty. Their profession doesn't matter now. That is their true role, and it will come again one day, whether you're ready or not. They have powers never seen before and are controlling, destructive beings when angered. And people have angered them. They will rise to power again, so watch your back. Something my character, Sir Blank, can't share with anyone is the fact that he used to be a woman. That's how he was born. But after three monster trucks, some lesbian tendencies, and the fact that things just felt, well, wrong, he decided to change. So a couple surgeries later in a new hairdo, Sir Blank was a man, and he was finally happy, even if it took some getting used to. Mara could not sleep. She lay down on her comfy bed, staring up at the ceiling. She did not turn the lights off completely in fear that someone would sneak up on her and reveal her deepest thoughts. Her past kept circulating through her mind. Mara couldn't control all this madness. Her eyes widened while she was thinking of what, had, what she had done. How could she do such a terrible deed? The town knew of Mara, but in a positive light. She was the sweet young lady that all old people waved to. She had gone to a small school where all her classmates respected and looked up to her. Little did they know that she was the one who murdered Tom, and this made her less of a suspect. But this did not comfort Mara, though. Walking past the coffee shop on my way home from work, like I do every day, I took a double take. Sitting directly below the sign was a simple girl, about 21, with waist-length hair, with waist-length straight brown hair and freckles dotting the slender bridge of her nose. She had her head buried in a book of poetry and didn't even look up when the bell jingled, signaling my entrance. 
Squeakily pulling out a chair, I sat across from her. Only then, glancing up, did I see her rake her eyes over me. They were a wonderfully blank palette of brown specked with golden green flakes. Hi, she stammered out. Do I know you? No, but I want to know you, I responded. If two characters who don't previously know each other meet by chance, the first thing they would probably do is introduce one another, share each one's personal stories, interests, etc. Tom rushed down the hallway towards the sliding doors at the end. The doors were slowly closing, just slow enough that it seemed Tom could make it, but quick enough that he knew he would not. Wait, Tom called out in desperation. Hold the door. Almost immediately, the doors stopped their closing motion and glided open to accompany Tom. Panting and out of breath, Tom entered the elevator to find the person who had saved him from being late. In the line for coffee, Julia tripped and tipped forward. The coins in her hand, so carefully counted to allow for tax, jumped out of her palms, scattering on the tan linoleum. The man in front of her spun around and bent over to help her pick up the change in a series of deft movements. Hi, I'm Max, he said. Julia, she breathed. I think a good name for a bookstore would be a bridge to the bucks. I chose this name because Bridge to the Bucks reminds me of the song Bridge Over Troubled Water by Simon and Garfunkel, which describes how um, how a friend can help you get through something. And books are a really good place to hide out when you're sad. The story that I chose was the storied store. Manny's Marvelous Meats. So my idea was the imagination company because it has part of my name Jen in it and it sounds creative like it would be a fun place to work. Ain't you got nobody at home to tell you to wash your face? <laughs>